Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my underground survival bunker tutorial. So, it's a pretty simple build to complete. It's really not that hard, but it looks absolutely incredible. I love how this turned out. I love making it. I love showing a tutorial on how to build it. So if you guys want to learn how to build this entire thing block by block, step by step, be sure to stick around for the full tutorial. I show you how to build this entire thing, exactly how it looks here. So if you guys want to learn how to build it, stick around and yeah, let's get started. All right, so for your bunker survival house, you're gonna need to find the materials found on my hot bar below. You're gonna start off, it's a real simple build. You're just gonna make a circle of slabs, just like this, actually, you know what? That's not a circle, dude. That's totally a square, but you're gonna make a square of slabs. We're gonna drill down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. It really doesn't matter how many you go down, but I always feel like eight is a good number. Uh, just to make sure you don't like go underwater or anything like that. Uh, we may drill it down a little bit deeper since we are near water, but again, it's not important how far you drill it down. Just drill it down as far as you want. You could honestly go to all the way down to the very bottom of the world if you wanted to. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but as you can see, I'm filling in my ladder shaft with these oak wood planks. So you want to do this all the way to the bottom. Um, except for the last three blocks. So like these three blocks right here, we're just gonna leave those open and then we're gonna fill in every other block just like this, as you see me doing. Uh, don't do what I just did. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, we're gonna place our trap door. So a pretty, uh, you know, it, it's an entrance, it works. I actually put your trap door right here, uh, right on this block. And then go ahead and bring your ladders all the way down. So it's pretty simple to do. You just go doop, 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 just like this and then you'll be able to climb up out of it just like that. The trapdoor will act as a ladder, and boom, you're out of your base. So we built the entrance, pretty rudimentary, but it works, it works. It honestly does work. Uh, we're gonna go down into here, we're gonna finish what I started, just like that. All right, so to build this, you're gonna end up breaking out a pretty good area. So we're, to, we're gonna pretend this is where the base starts. So we're just gonna drill out an area. I'll tell you how big it is when I'm finished. So just three over this way, and then three over this way, just like that. So three and three, that should be seven blocks in total with your ladder in the middle. And then we're gonna drill it out seven blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I didn't want to lose my place, but I had to get a torch. So one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a good way to know if you did it right is just drill straight over. And if you encounter your other shaft, then you've done it correctly. So this entire thing is of course going to be drilled out. It's going to be three blocks high. So we'll go ahead and just do that real quick. All right, so you should end up with a seven by seven room, just like this. Now we're gonna be using smooth stone for the floor. So you wanna get some smooth stone and anywhere you see in the floor that isn't smooth stone, go ahead and place smooth stone. Uh, we're gonna be using these stone bricks in the corners. We're just gonna put some stone bricks in the corners. We're gonna be doing cobblestone walls and then oak wood ceiling. So like on these ladder blocks right here, you might wanna break them. Uh, just to make it look a little bit better and do something like that. So usually I use a very specific palette. I use oak logs in the corners, but I'm going to try something different with this bunker build. And we're just going to be building with cobblestone walls. And again, those stone brick pillar supports in the corners. And then at the top, we're going to be filling it in with oak wood. So let me do that off camera because it's kind of boring to watch. All right, so that's complete. As far as lighting goes, a good way to do it is just put torches in the corners like this. Uh, if you're fancy like me and you wanna do a little bit of lanterns, go ahead and find the center of your base, which is gonna be right here. It should just be two blocks, uh, corner like this. So two, it, I was trying to explain that, but I guess I really didn't need to. It's kind of self-explanatory. But build out two, and then on the third block, that's your center. And we're just gonna break that block. And then all the blocks around it, you'll end up with a three by three thing like this. We're gonna go ahead and put in a solid oak block and then surround it with slabs like this. And then you can hang your lantern and it makes it look quite nice. I think it looks pretty good. And it lights up the center of the build without doing some annoying thing with torches where it's like hanging down and there's like, yeah, it's just so much better now that we have lanterns, honestly. So I'm gonna grab some more materials we're gonna need for the build. Okay, so it's pretty easy to build this base. You really can do it however you want. I choose to put a bed right here, and I think that's a pretty good spot for a bed. We're gonna go in the walls here, and we're gonna break out all of these blocks right here. Okay, you're wondering, Neo, why the heck are you doing that? Uh, one thing you can do um, if you have chests in the walls right here is go ahead and line the bottom with glowstone and then of course bring this wall material back and then bring the ceiling material back as well. So it's going to be oak planks on the ceiling and Kat, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know if you guys can She has the cutest little meow. She's such a small cat. Uh, her name's Freya. We got her like almost two years ago now, but yeah, right here we have chests on the wall. Pretty good storage. Uh, you can't open the top ones. That's why I grabbed these stairs. 
Uh, you can go ahead and just break out all these blocks and then all you do is just put right side up stairs just like that as you can see just right side up stair blocks and then you can go ahead and fill in the front you can't even tell the difference but now you can open all the chests cool um, one thing I would do which I'm not sure why I got rid of the furnaces but take some furnaces and you can just slap those into the walls really wherever you want so a bunch of furnaces right here and then maybe you want a bunch of blast furnaces over on this side like four of those and then maybe you want some smokers on top of those really however you want to do it but that's a good way to get by uh, with every block you need obviously you can take a grindstone and a stone cutter and you can put those on the floor over here in the corner just like that and then you can put your grindstone right there albeit it does block that torch but it's really not a big deal maybe you stick it out from the wall that looks a little bit better cool and then behind that you could well I mean, you can't really put anything there um, as far as making this look better over here take some stairs made of your wall material and just sort of place them right here break out those blocks put the blocks there behind it and then you can put a painting here you can put two pots and then you can put whatever you want in them you could put a dark oak sapling and a blue orchid so it's a neo cubist build gotta have a blue orchid if you want to separate this area where you're uh, bed is I'm not gonna be putting an enchantment table or a farm in this build but if you wanted to you could definitely just drill down right here and build a mine build really whatever you want um, if you're looking for something more advanced I have a bunch of advanced tutorials on my channel but this is gonna be a more simple tutorial uh, something that you, everyone can build and uh, they can be proud of it so in the corner here I'm gonna be doing the same thing I'm gonna put these stairs but I'm gonna break out all four of these blocks and then we're gonna put the behind block as the correct uh, whatever it is so cobblestone or whatever you chose to use and then I'd put an armor stand here just two armor stands and you could store your favorite armor just like that and then another cool thing you can do is you can take some item frames and you can actually hang them from the stairs and they look really cool like they properly hang off of it and let's say you have some swords you're really proud of and you want to sort of hang them up let's say this is like a little base near something I don't know why you'd ever have a gold sword but maybe you want it and you could just put it right there and it looks pretty cool now over here on the wall something I would do is I'd take a stair and I'd extend it out like that and then on top of that of course you could put a pot really whatever you want to put there but I'm gonna to choose to put an ender chest here so it looks pretty good and now you have a nice little ender chest sticking out maybe you don't want it right there you could always set it on the ground I just figure you know you could always put it up here too it really doesn't matter but if you're gonna put it up here what I would do is take a stair put that right there put the ender chest down so you can open it and then take some trap doors made of spruce hear me out hear me out guys and uh, you can just sort of hang it from the ceiling like that that looks a lot better than it looked down here I think uh, I would put your anvil down there um, and then you know what We're, we'll go ahead and do an enchanting table in here just because I said I wouldn't but this build kind of needs an enchantment table it's begging for one right here so we're gonna break out these three by this three by two area right here and uh, we're just gonna break it out so I guess one two three blocks back we're gonna put the enchantment table right here and might as well break out the ceiling blocks too and then you can go ahead and just put however many bookshelves you need or want to use um, obviously if you're trying to go for a full 30 enchantment table you want to put 15 bookshelves um, but yeah something like that works perfectly you can also do it like that if you don't want to uh, have them sticking out and make sure you get the corners and let's just confirm it's a full 30 enchantment table let's see what we get fire aspect 2 bane arthropods 5 not a great enchantment but it is a gold sword what can you expect um, I would also recommend making sure to bring your ceiling material in here just like that go ahead and break out all these blocks right here and then go ahead and put your wall ball your wall block sorry I've recorded this is like the sixth straight hour of recording so my voice is starting to fade a little bit um, I hope you guys can see it too I'll try to remember to brightness correct this but just put your cobblestone up in here just like that let me go ahead and just slap some torches down so you guys can see better just like that so cobblestone and then oak wood just like that and uh, the cool part about this is you can take those stairs that are right side up along with some chests and then maybe you want another ender chest in here I'm not really sure but we'll go ahead and take these stairs and uh, we'll just put them right here and here just lining the top and then you can fit one double chest right here and then you could fit uh, you know a double chest right here a normal chest and then over on this side I don't really know what you'd want to put in here but you could put more furnaces or you could do what I do and uh, you could hmm you could always put some pots in there it really doesn't matter uh, but yeah there's not much else you can really put in this build you could put a farm and stuff but you'd have to put it below uh, where you are you can't just put it like in your floor I mean I guess you could it really wouldn't look bad but if you're gonna do that also put some paintings behind it it looks really cool and you can actually fit them 
look at that pretty cool and then if you're looking for some lighting in here you're like neo there's nowhere to put lighting look all you gotta do is break two blocks break two blocks break two blocks and break two blocks put a sea lantern or glowstone either one and then some glass on top of it obviously if you don't have access to those materials don't do it uh, you can always just put one piece of glowstone under it but that always makes my enchantment rooms look really good Another thing you could do if you have some extra leaves and you want to put them down, you can put some leaves right there. You can really put leaves wherever you want. I wouldn't put them in the center of your build, but hey, if you really want to, I'm not one to judge. It wouldn't look bad, but eh, I wouldn't really put them there. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more tutorials, let's plays, and other Minecraft content, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when I upload. I am using the BSL Medium version 32 shader pack. If you'd like to download the shader pack, the link is down in the description below. Uh, music is also down in the description below. Shout out to Kevin MacLeod for making the best free music for all us YouTubers and content creators alike. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video, that would really help me out. I'm not going to ask for any specific number of likes, but if you guys do like the video and you want to see more, uh, show me by clicking that like button. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy this base if you choose to build it. But yeah, thank you guys for being the best group of fans I could have ever asked for. Uh, to support me and my channel, I really do find it quite incredible how awesome each and every one of you guys are. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever you're watching this. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye.